the illusion of free choice. Exists. Right? <laughs> <laughs> All right, getting into it. PS2 is our starter here. Classic. Yeah, absolutely a classic. So I do think um, that does definitely help Robin a little bit when it comes to wanting to get some space and throw out more of the projectiles, but not if Glucky doesn't let Make Make. <laughs> oh, I mean, three times now, finally going with the roll in order to try and find this damage. Looking for, there is a huge uh, arc fire, uh, huge up air chain trying to find the arc fire. Got intercepted on the platform. But it looks like Glucky, after a really strong start, is just trying to weave in and out with some of the arrows. Always trying to approach downward on top as it almost catches the neutral get up with the forward tilt. Now we get to see, uh, I think he was going for an Elwin spike there instead, but Glucky not, uh, Makemake not able to find it. Actually, that was really smart of Makemake to go for the Elwin spike there because I believe he was out of Elwin. After I saw him land on the other side of the stage, the Elwin meter started counting up again. So that was a good way to get on the other side of the stage and start recharging that resource. Another roll on fast. Uh, has to be careful with some of their sequence, but the lingering hitbox of forward smash comes out. Oh, goes for neutral air instead, and is just trying to, uh, as a means to keep off after that parry. This is tricky. I mean, Robin in this matchup is going to... Re oh, interesting angle. I think. It's probably hard dealing in on that jab. But Robin has to really rely on something like uh, neutral thunder because it is super quick in order to try and stymie some of Glucky's approaches. But Glucky has just been doing a good job of you double jumping away whenever they have uh, weapon sword in a lot of instances and then approaching when only when they know it's safe with Bronze Sword on deck. See with that double jump right there, they're trying to stall out the re a reaction from Makemake. That time, it, uh, it worked out to a, in a two-way charm, and it keeps on working here with all of these double jumps and uh, empty hop mix-ups. That is insane that that down air was unsafe on a hit. Oh, yeah. Lucky was able to get the double edge for it. Ooh, okay. Bronze Sword is uh, unfortunately not extremely good. Oh, the trade and still gets the pickup with the Arc Fire. Uh, Arc Fire neutral air. Still another roll read comes out from Gucky getting a kill with uh, the up tilt. This ledge play needs to be huge. Arc fires that ledge into the down smash, but Gucky gets hit by it instead. Still holding strong at ledge though. Has a lot of thunder and has just enough Levin Sword. Going for the uh, going for another finisher with the L win. Doesn't even need it though. Yeah, Maki Maki though bringing this right back to even uh, for a, a game one that has seemed very in Glucky's favor. Uh, you know, good on Maki Maki to bring it back to even. But we're back at the ledge again, where it feels like this entire game one has been played. Yeah, both of these two are just so... Characters and seemingly players have really solid ledge trapping flow charts. Gucky doing it a lot closer, but Maki Maki used, letting the Arc Fire do what Arc Fire does best. And there is the Anasperatu off of ledge, and Gucky getting a little impatient, gets caught by a forward air as well. Maki is in control of center, starting to pepper, pepper away with these thunders. Yeah, I think we saw in the beginning of the game, Make Make was getting punished a lot for pressing buttons off of ledge, um, which he did adapt to. He started throwing in the neutral, uh, neutral get ups, the rolls, and you know now late into this game, we saw him come back again with the Nosferatu off of ledge dash attack. No oh, but got, yeah, got overwhelmed by the final hit of Arcfire instead. Good weight on Gucky's part, has to go for a jump, and this is a Max Rage Roy, you can't sleep on that, despite how deceptively heavy Robin is. Throwing out all those 11 aerials means you are out of your 11 sword, re severely reducing your kill power. Can Gucky make the most of this? The jabs, just there, that yeah. should do it. That was so, that was really good corner pressure until the, uh, until the overwhelm and the, and the, just thinking a little bit too quickly and thinking like if I surrender this corner then or if I lose this position then I'm gonna die. Because like this this rising back or this landing back here was so huge, you find jab, jab two, that third jab. Roy jab is amazing, but it's not safe three stales in a row. Mm -hmm. So you have an opportunity there to try and find that kill. You whiffed, pivot away from uh, pivot away from that jab. Maybe you try and go for it. Mixing in a down tilt, which is a lot safer. Go for a forward tilt, which is not as safe, but definitely much different in timing, especially if you think they might be looking for a parry or rolling back into the corner. But just standing there and holding jab just leaves Maki Maki a chance to react to the situation, which is what you desperately don't want them to do. Mm -hmm. 
right? That was a good game. That was. That was a great game one. Looking into Smashville here on our game two. All right, Makemake getting some good uh, arc fire damage already. Oh, this I mean, they're really starting to heat up now. Do you know when you can see Robin players start to maneuver in mid-air like that and find arc fire chains in, instead of just using it at ledge? You know that the Robin player is starting to get a, a better sense of how you move. And again, aggressive off of ledge, but Glucky trying to, again, do a little bit too much as so many of these scramble scenarios end up Makemaki's favor with just a big 11 aerial at the end of the day. Jeez. Robin dash attack's not a move you see often. It didn't have any 11 buttons, so that hard fire didn't result in the stock, but now it very well might. Yep, just barely. Nice roll that time, getting past the arc fire. And now, Glucky in control of center stage. Let's see what he can do with it. Putting Make Make off stage. This is where he got so much mileage in game one, but not so much right now. That's yeah, tough. I mean, he... Going. Oh, the hit on the book extended the hitbox, but in a detrimental fashion because it allowed Make Make a chance to get a hit out while the up air was still uh, was still th being uh, being it was pressed. A hit stop, yeah. Yeah, it was a hit stop. There, so. All right, that time uh, shielding the eleven sword, but not able to find anything out of it. A couple sour spot arrows though, and he's a chance to close this out. Looking for the. Uh, either down air or sour spot down air, but no, no hits either way. And yeah. Bucky's just really getting stuck trying to force their way in with another roll, gets pivot grab. Misses the Elwin spike, but still it's just, it's good usage of that material and trying to get the, trying to get all of their uh, meters recharging at different intervals. Yeah, always making sure that Make Make has you know, something threatening on deck. But speaking of threatening, the reversal up B, but, you know, 89% on Glucky. Nothing to sneeze at for, in terms of extra credit for Make Make. Yeah, far from bad. I mean, now you gotta fight your way out of the corner, and he does so fair, near fair, another one. 38%, and you got ledge. Just barely able to shield that L Thunder. Goes for it again, but air dodges that time. Doesn't take the punish, instead fearing the arc fire. Eyes were taken away from the prize just a little bit, and now Maka has regained center stage. Yeah, setting up. Bucky just didn't believe in that uh, neutral jump that right there over the arc fire, which could have been a huge punish. Maka Maka was wide open. Gets it. And the beer versus double edge dance, trying to make the most out of this ledge play. Goes high, but misses oh, the grab. Oh my, one. Glucky's just so close to this being in so, uh, won so much in his favor, but is just missing some of these huge punishes. Is able to get by with a little bit of a delayed roll, though. And no oh, jump on Roy's part. Yeah. All right, nice use of the single L wind to get the uh, the book recharge back. I feel like... Oh, oh that's, that's so... That's that was rough. like, what, 23% healing? Into a 40% combo? Like, all right, get a couple up airs, but you're looking... At, you're looking for basically almost exclusively a back air at this point, especially with another set of heels online. This is the ja uh, this is the Jaren gets hit by the book instead. Nosferatu is the very least offline as well as almost out of eleven as well. That was the last of an aerial, oh. but didn't th didn't uh, keep track of their own Nosferatu, and that's going to be a stock in the favor of Bucky. Needs to just needs just one of those big strings or big ledge traps. Has a chance for oh okay, getting the uh, jab into the dash attack. Tough, tough on ledge. Stage again actually goes above the ledge, uh, missing the arc fire. That's insane that that hit. <laughs> Robin down smash is low key crazy because the splash hit. Oh, oh that's tragic. Man, and, uh, if there's anything I have to say with some of uh, how Glucky played, because they had really great moments on hit, but whenever they were on, uh, whenever they were in an advantage on a ledge, where they were trying to ledge trap Maka, especially in that game too, their entire focus is we see a very unfortunate SD, like at this, you know, L. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the trick though is whenever they were on, uh, ledge trapping, they seemed very focused in trying to force Maka Maka back off stage and just repeat, rather rinse, repeat, and get a, get a chance to try and two-frame with jab or two-frame with down, to, down air and just do that over and over again.